Hello and welcome to another tutorial from OICT. In this tutorial, we're going to be making an image gallery that loads images from an URL uh, that's basically being passed into the program by using a text file. Okay, so the text file that we're going to be using is this one here. So here I have uh, just collected some random images that I found online. Uh, basically, I have 50 of them in here. Right, and you'll notice that each of them end with a file extension, so such as JPG, PNG, JPEG, and so on. Uh, you can use your own images if you like, but just make sure the line ends with the JPG files because that's why the program is going to need in order to load the picture into the picture box. Okay, so let me just run this one at the moment, and then you can see what it looks like. So initially, it will load the very last image on the list. Right, and then as soon as I click image, it will go down. So if I keep going, Okay, and now we are at the very first image on the gallery. As soon as we click, go to the next one, we go to the very last one again. Okay, so this is going to be a very simple and short tutorial on how to achieve this using Windows Forms. Let's go ahead and create a new project in Visual Studio. We have a file, new project. I choose my Windows Form app my template I'm going to create this one as URL picture viewer more ICT click next uh, .NET 6 framework is fine click create okay, once the project is created we need to import the image file that we have so right here you can see it says URL picture viewer more ICT I'm just going to right click on the name there to add the image text file click add existing items it's going to go to your project location okay now choose the folder that you have saved the text file into okay so i am in the folder where my text file is as you can see that we can't really see any items inside that's because currently we're looking for c sharp files only we need to choose all files from the drop down and then there's the text file right here i'm just going to double click on that and then it gets added to our project and um, solutions explorer click on that to open just to make sure there's the right file i can close it now while the file is still selected go here where it says copy to output directory inside the properties window click on the drop down and say copy always so it's basically going to copy the file to wherever the executable file is going to be created which is usually inside the bin folder or in the release folder and make sure you save your project as frequently as possible uh, let's do some changes for, to the form and then we can jump into coding. Okay. URL picture viewer no ICT. Okay, I'm just going to make this one slightly bigger. So we need a picture box first. Let's go ahead and grab a picture box. I'm going to place it here. That's fine. Make it as large as I can. And then we're going to need a label. Let's change the label font first to and bold 12. And now I'm going to change the auto size to false. That way we can center the font nicely in the middle. Make it adjacent to the picture box. Make it a bit taller and then go to text align and then pick the center option here. Nicely centers it there. And for the text, I'm just going to change the text to image 0 of 0. Last component is a button. Okay, so I'm just going to try to a button in here first. 
So I need the phone to be that big. Make it smaller. And the bottom can be make it that way. Oh, here we are. Okay. Yeah, and then just change image. So I'm just gonna change the text of the button to say change image on there. And that's about it really. That's pretty much all we need for this. And we need to just add an event to the button. So I'm just gonna go to the click on the button first, click on the lightning bolt icon, and then inside of here and say change image event. Now we can actually write our event inside of this. And before we get started, we need to make two variables here first. One is going to be a string array called URL is equals to file.read lines. Inside of here, we need to give the location of the text file that we need. So, text file is called image urls.txt, then to array. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to load up this file read each line and save each line as an array inside the URLs. Okay. The second one we're going to need is going to be called int i is equal to zero. So the i we're going to use as a way to uh, navigate the files. Okay. So just to make sure that everything's working, so we can basically try and load up an image from there. Okay. So let's just say picture box dot load. Okay. A URL so URL let's say on the first image inside of the URL to load with the picture box I just run this now and right now I'm just saying I want the first one to be loaded okay as you can see this is the very first image and so I think one of the things we need to do is put a little triangle there as soon as it comes back to me there yeah. Okay, and then change the size mode to zoom so that way it doesn't look like it's just on the corner of the picture box it says it will be zoomed in the middle okay so it's nicely uh, displayed then so you can see the whole picture okay and if I change that to say no 20 so that's going to be the 20th or the 21st picture it's this one here all right so the idea is to basically navigate it using the eye and in, uh, decrease the eye with each click and then update it using this i'm just going to leave i in there for now because i want that to be same here and then say i is equals to url dot length minus one okay so url dot length gives us the number of the items available from one to fifty but an array will count from 0 to 49 okay so that's why we're reducing it by one okay, and then lastly we need to do the label one dot text is equals to image plus one yeah i plus one plus of plus url dot length Okay. So although there's 49 images because it comes from zero, the URL length always shows 50, and this should say basically 50 or 50. If you just get rid of the one from there, just leave the I inside the brackets for now. And if I load it up, so it says here 49 or 50, although this is the 50th image, right? That's why we're adding a one next to the I. Yeah, that's basically for just for decorative purposes at the moment okay so we have that at the moment now we need to do the click event and so the click event we'll say if i is greater than zero okay, i minus minus so if i has a value of one we can go to zero but we don't want to go below zero because then the program will cra crash okay else we'll say i is equals to url dot length minus one so if i is zero then we don't want it to go below anymore then we're just going to switch it to 49 okay and then right after that we can just copy these two to first okay and then we're just going to load this up it's going to load up whatever value the i is and then also load up the number of the image right there so make it a bit smaller you can see the whole source code in one shot
Okay, so let's run this and find out if it works. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, I'm going down to 49. and then it comes back around to the last one All right so this has been a very quick tutorial on how to load images using a url from a text file uh, i hope you find it useful you can use it in your any of your projects that if you like and i will see you on the next tutorial take care